Millions moved in a matter of minutes. Documents obtained by Fox 25 through an open records request show purchase approvals involving the Swadley's Foggy Bottom Kitchen deal were approved by Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell within an hour at least a dozen times. That includes his first sign-off on March 13, 2020. It was for more than $2 million for reimbursements for the restaurant. Documents show Pinnell signed off within 15 minutes of getting the invoice. A year later, on March 5th, documents show Pinnell approved almost $87,000 for increased management fees just four minutes after getting the request. And in July last year, Pinnell approved a $1.5 million payment through email without ever seeing an invoice. But things really speed up in August 2021. That's when the department switched to all electronic approval. On August 4th, documents show Pinnell received a Foggy Bottom Kitchen invoice for more than $4.1 million. According to documents we reviewed, Pinnell viewed the invoice at 5.20 p.m. and signed it less than a minute later. In all, documents show Pinnell approved at least $14.7 million in money from the tourism department to Swadley's Foggy Bottom Kitchens. We reached out to the lieutenant governor's office for comment. In a statement we received, a spokesperson says Pinnell does review the invoices he sent. It goes on to say, quote, At the time of the invoice in question, the lieutenant governor had full faith in the agency director and trusted he had properly vetted the information. And regarding the invoice Pinnell approved without seeing it, the statement says that money was, quote, part of that pre-authorized amount to go toward renovating state park restaurants, which the Department of Tourism successfully did. Governor Stitt also confirmed to Fox 25 Pinnell is required to approve everything over a certain amount. All of my cabinet secretaries have to sign off on anything that reports up to them. Uh, so yes, uh, they have to, uh, I think I have an executive order, anything, any expense over $25,000 flows up to our cabinet secretaries. But Pinnell's involvement has caught the eye of lawmakers investigating the contracts. State Representative Ryan Martinez said members want to know more about Pinnell's process. Myself and committee members at, at some point during this process are going to want to talk to the lieutenant governor about what his process is in approving uh, any type of invoice, how they review those, and make sure that there's a thorough process that's happening. At first glance, it doesn't seem too thorough to me. Now, on that special committee, Representative Martinez was asked if members would call Lieutenant Governor Pinnell as part of their investigation. He responded, quote, absolutely.